this video is going to be my Roxy Andrews RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Season 2 makeup tutorial. Now this look is very classic Roxy. It's not so much a copy of what she wore on the promo pictures, but this is very classic Roxy with the big eyes, the drawn out eyebrows and the multiple moles and the classic pale Roxy nude glossy lips. And I am telling you, not even from Season 5, from the whole of Drag Race, Roxy Andrews is one of my top five queens ever from that show. Legit. She is so talented. I don't care what anybody else says. A lot of my friends, like, shade me for liking her because she was considered not the nicest in that season. But honestly, she was beautiful. She's talented. She's so creative. I believed a lot of the opinions that she said on the show. Um... A lot of you guys are gonna hate me for that, but I just think that Roxy did an amazing ass job and for me, she deserved to win that season regardless of what was said. During and after season 5, Roxy set such a massive trend with the makeup, legit with the carved out eyebrows, the big eyes, the 6 to 8 pairs of drag lashes. The amalgamation of Roxy's face, everyone looked like Roxy after season 5, I'm telling you. Do you know what guys, I'm gonna stop. But anyway, I think Roxy is so so talented. I just love Roxy's drag and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. First things off, I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows using my Freedom Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. Roxy likes a fishy brow look so that's what I'm gonna be doing and I'm going to ombre the brow using my loose powder on the beginning of the brow. Now to etch out the shape, this is a very very crucial step to a Roxy Andrews look. Basically you want to use a clown white mixed in with your foundation, your highlight colour and etch out the brow below and above you just want to draw a line to outline the shape above. You just have to do this. This is such a crucial step to a Roxy look, 100%. And I've already done my base as well. Now what I'm going to be doing is actually etching out my eyeliner. Now I do think that I did this a little bit too thick. I think I did a few millimetres too thick, but it's okay. What I'm doing with the liner is doing it super super thick and drawing an extended lower lash line as well. And to fill that in I'm going to be using my Kiko Gel Eyeliner. To fill in the lower waterline, I'm going to be using Clown White on its own and filling in the gap between the black line and the waterline as well. Now, for the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This first shade is called Coco Bear and I'm just etching out the crease with this. This is legit the most perfect warm brown ever. I'm just etching it out with a pencil brush and then going in with a bigger pencil brush just to disperse the colour a little bit more. And then once that's all blended, I'm going to be using Mirage, uh, which is a bone colour, and I'm just applying that to the brow bone. This will help in blending as well. Now I'm going to be using Mocha eyeshadow, which is just a dark brown, and etch out the crease to get that cut crease going. And to etch it out even more, I'm going to be using Clown White with a flat brush and etch out the lid. After that, you just want to set that with the Mirage eyeshadow. Now, the colours have um, ruined the eyeliner a little bit, so I'm just going to go back in with my liner and the crease colour just to, you know, make everything intense again. After that, I'm going to be using Corrupt eyeshadow, which is just a matte black and just, you know, blending and smudging out the lower. I'm also going to be using Cocoa Bear just to blend it out even more. Now Roxy likes to do this thing yet yeah, on the lower lash line where she draws little lashes. I think it's her effect of giving that big eye, dolly eye sort of look. Now I'm holding up my mascara upside down but I'm just going to be applying my Tarte Gifted Mascara and applying my 8 pairs of lashes. Now, to contour, I'm going to be using the NYX Contour Kit and using all of the darker shades just to warm up my face and also to contour. Now, Roxy loves 
to be bronze and tan, so I'm applying a lot. Now the cheek contour, it was a little bit harsh at first, so what I'm going to be doing is blending that out heavily. It was harsh before because I baked and cooked there, but you want that to be blended definitely. For the nose, I'm just drawing a straight line downwards. Now to get that Roxy Andrews staple nose, you want to draw a button tip nose. So you just want to draw a little circle on the tip to get that Roxy look. And then to make that extra, extra thin, I'm just going to bake extra well on the outer corner where we contoured the nose. For blusher, I'm going to be using Makeup Geek Infatuation. This is just a warm tone, I just like warm blushes and Roxy likes to look really warm as well, so that's what I'm using. And then after that, I'm just going to wipe off the bake. You see how this makes the nose look so skinny and my, my nose is not skinny at all. Now, what I'm going to do for the lip liner is use my Primark Peachy Lip Liner and just outline the lips. Now, Roxy loves a good nude lips. I'm going to be using Sugar Liquid Lipstick from Coloured Rain. This is such a good brand of liquid lipsticks. I totally recommend them for you guys. And this is not pale enough, so I'm going to be using Clown White to really, really lighten the colour. And to outline the lips, I'm just going to use a little bit of Stone Lip Pencil from MAC. You can go matte with this, but I'm going to apply a gloss just like Roxy, so I'm applying NYX in Fortune Cookie. So guys, this is the final look. I've got my nails did, and I've also put two Brazilian wigs on top of my head to get that Roxy look. And like Roxy, I like to do a lot of my wigs myself, so the wig at the bottom, I made that myself as well. <laughs> I am so excited to watch Roxy this season. I am hashtag Team Roxy this season. I know she got a bad rep from season five, but honestly, I can just tell she is gonna slay this season. I hope, I am just hoping. And that's it you guys, if you want more Drag Race All Stars looks, tell me below who you want me to do. And keep subscribing, please subscribe to this channel because it honestly it's so so easy and next time I do a Drag Race look, you will be the first one to be notified. And I love you guys so much, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and bye guys. <laughs>